the percentage error of the measurement of mass and speed are 3 percentage and 4 percentage respectively. The error in the estimate of kinetic energy obtained by the measurement of mass and speed will be. We need to find the percentage error here. Okay. Uh, solution. Uh, they ask here the kinetic energy, kinetic energy obtained by the mass measuring mass and speed. So, we know the kinetic energy formula, kinetic energy uh, Ke, we are representing Ke is equal to half m v square, kinetic energy is half m v square. Now, the percentage error, it is given for mass as well as speed. Percentage of mass, error of mass is equal to del m divided by m into 100. They given the value for mass as 3 percentage. So, this is 3 percentage. Now, for speed, percentage of speed is equal to del V divided by V into 100 is equal to given the percentage is in 4 percentage. So, 4 percentage. Okay. Now, our aim is to calculate kinetic energy percentage. So, kinetic energy we can write del K dot E divided by kinetic energy into 100. Okay, is equal to from this formula I am writing here 1 by 2 in the error when we are finding error percentage error we are we, we do not take the numericals and all. So, numerical get cancelled here we are having only m v square. So, m here we are writing the error as an del m divided by m into 100. Okay, and I uh, note always note that error will always add add up. If it is in multiplication or if it is in subtraction, division, anything else, the error will always add add up only. It will always add add up. You want to keep in your mind this one. So, here it is in multiplication only. We need to add, add add up. And this is v square, so we can write 2 into v that is error as an del v divided by v into 100. Okay. Now this can be written as we know the del m by m into 100 is equal to 3 percentage. So this is 3 percentage plus 2 into here we are having del v by v into 100 is equal to 4 percentage. So, 4 percentage, this is 4 percentage. This can be written as now 3 plus 8 percentage is equal to 11 percentage. So, the percentage error for the kinetic energy is 11 percentage. Inductive reactants of an inductive coil with 1 by pi Henry and given value of frequency is 50 hertz. Solution. Inductance they are given, inductance L is equal to 1 by pi, 1 by pi and given frequency value is equal to given frequency 50 hertz. They are asking the inductive reactance now. So, inductive reactance formula is xl is equal to omega l omega is the angular frequency omega is equal to 2 pi f f is the frequency now you substitute in this equation so xl is equal to omega is 2 pi f and l value we are having 1 by pi now pi pi get cancelled so xl is equal to 2 into 
frequency they given 50 so xl is equal to 100 the inductive resistance it is always represented in ohm 100 ohm so the option is number 300 ohm the minimum horizontal range of a particle is achieved at an angle of so they are asking what is the minimum horizontal range of a particle is achieved minimum value so solution the formula for horizontal range horizontal range r is equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g okay now this is an option elimination method okay so i'm going to uh, put one option first option in this equation and one option each and every option i'm going to neglect that one so r is equal to here option number one this is option one r is equal to u square sin 2 into theta value i'm going to put here 45 degree so 45 divided by g now r is equal to uh, u square sin 90 sin 90 is nothing but sin 90 degree is equal to 1 so you will get r is equal to u square divided by g for option 1 and we will take now second option option number 2 this is option number 2 r this is the formula r u square sin 2 into theta value is 60 degree second option so 2 into 60 divided by g now r is equal to here u square sin 60 into 2 120 divided by g 120 degree is sin 120 is root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 okay this is for option 2 now take option number 3 r is equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g now r is equal to u square sin 2 into option number 3 they represented 30 angle 30 divided by g so r is equal to u square sin 60 degree is nothing but that is root 3 by 2 ok and this is g and this value r is equal to we can write u square root 3 divided by root 3 divided by 2 by g and I am going to take now last option option number 4 formula is r is equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g and r is equal to here u square sin 2 into what is the option here 90 degree so 90 degree divided by g so 90 into 2 120 so r is equal to u square sin 180 degree okay divided by g sin 180 is 0 okay sin 180 is equal to 0 so these this term becomes as in 0 so r is equal to 0 here so the horizontal they are asking the minimum horizontal range only here in the first option we are getting u square by g that is on some value and second and third option also we are getting some value and the fourth option r is equal to 0 this is the minimum horizontal range we are getting so option 4 is the correct answer match the following Kaolinite, which is a ore of alumina. Here, malachite, this is a ore of copper. And zincite is nothing but zinc oxide. Like calamine is zinc carbonate. So, the answer is 2, 1, 3, 4. The first order reaction is denoted by the following equation. In the first order reaction, the rate constant of the reaction always directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant. 
rate which is directly proportional to concentration of the reactant. So, at T time the reaction which carries then the initial concentration of the reactant it will decrease. So, the correct equation is K equal to 2.303 by T, T means time. Log that is a initial concentration of the reactant then concentration of R means it is a final concentration of the reactant. In this aromatic diazonium salt reactor with a particular catalyst which gives a halobenzene. What will be the catalyst? Here the catalyst used as cuprous chloride or cuprous bromide. This cuprous chloride or cuprous bromide which replaces the diazonium group by this halogen groups. Crossing over takes place between which chromatids and at which stage of the cell cycle. First, before entering into the option, we need to know what is crossing over. The term crossing over is coined by the scientist Morgan and this crossing over usually takes place during the meiosis cell division. Okay, then this crossing over is usually takes place between the homologous chromosome of non-sister chromatids. What do you mean by homologous chromosome means the chromosome which contains the alleles of same gene type are called as homologous chromosomes. These two homologous chromosomes of non-sister chromatids exchange their segments which leads to crossing over and leads to the formation of recombinant chromatids. So this process is called as the crossing over. It usually takes place during the packeting stage of prophase one. So correct answer is it usually takes place between the non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosome at packeting stage of prophase 1. What indicates A to D in the given figure? So first we need to understand what is this figure and what it explains. You know it is an cyclic phosphorylation reaction. So usually in cyclic phosphorylation reaction energy is obtained from the light. So option A will be light. In the given options so A is light and in D the light will reach the chlorophyll and from the chlorophyll the electron will jump here and also through and the electron will carry to this electron transport system and it leads to the production of ADP to ATP. So ATP production is called as the phosphorylation. So the correct answer for this question is a for light and B for electron transport system and C for E electron acceptor and D for chlorophyll P700. Match the column. Here they are given some of the pigments and we need to match the color of this pigment. First chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophylls and carotenoids. In this we know chlorophyll A is a primary pigment which is helpful for photosynthesis and the color of this is bright or a blue green. So they have given correctly. In chlorophyll B the color is yellow to green and the color of xanthophyll is yellow and the color of carotenoid is 
yellow to yellow orange so the correct option is b we have already discussed chlorophyll a is bright or a blue green and chlorophyll b is yellow to green and uh, xanthophyll is yellow and carotenoid is yellow to yellow orange milk is ejected from mammary glands by contraction of smooth muscles by which hormone vasopressin prolactin melatonin or oxytocin these are the options the answer is option d oxytocin because we can see that vasopressin this hormone is also called as anti diuretic hormone which is secreted from the posterior pituitary and it helps in reabsorption of water from the renal tubules so it is not the answer prolactin here prolactin is secreted from anterior pituitary it is also known as luteotrophic hormone it helps in milk secretion not milk ejection so you should not get confused with prolactin and oxytocin so prolactin helps in milk secretion from the mammary glands so prolactin is not the answer melatonin it is secreted from pineal gland which helps in maintaining the circadian rhythm that is sleep wake cycle so melatonin is not the answer and coming to oxytocin oxytocin is secreted from posterior pituitary it helps in it has two important functions during parturition it helps in contraction of smooth muscles of the uterus and in lactation it helps in milk ejection so the option is oxytocin so you can see the let down reflex or milk ejection reflex where oxytocin is released during lactation so the right answer will be oxytocin helps in milk ejection option d which of the following is true about menstrual cycle we'll see the statements menstrual cycle occurs once in 28 by 29 days lh surge occurs at 14th day grafen follicle is transformed to corpus luteum during follicular phase and the last statement is menstruation occurs after the ovum gets fertilized so here we'll see which are the true statements menstrual cycle occurs once in 28 by 29 days yes this is correct so the option 1 is correct lh surge occurs at 14th day this is also correct grafen follicle is transformed to corpus luteum during follicular phase no this is wrong because this occurs in secretory phase i will explain it with the diagram okay so this does not occur in follicular phase it occurs during secretory phase and menstruation occurs after the ovum gets fertilized no this is wrong okay because menstruation occurs when ovum is not fertilized in the ovum is gets fertilized pregnancy occurs so if only if the ovum is not fertilized menstruation occurs we'll see the diagram here we can see that menstrual cycle occurs once in 28 once in 28 by 29 days okay in a normal female so menstruation occurs once in 28 days lh surge occurs at the 14th day okay and the 14th day lh surge occurs this both statements are right grafen follicle is transformed to corpus luteum during follicular phase no it is wrong okay so it occurs during secretory phase does not occur during follicular phase so this statement is wrong menstruation occurs once the ovum gets fertilized no Pe pregnancy occurs once the ovum gets fertilized so answer will be option c which is both a and b are true which of the following organisms cause dry scaly itchy circular lesions in scalp the options are trichophyton ascaris filaria and trypanosoma so the answer will be trichophyton because in trichophyton no trichophyton comes under fungi trichophyton microsporum and epidermophyton all these together they come under dermatophytes fungi and they cause ringworm so ringworm has dry scaly itchy circular lesions as given in the diagram ascaris it is a helminth it is a worm which causes ascariasis filaria it is also a worm which causes filariasis and it blocks the lymphatic system trypanosoma is a protozoan okay it causes african sleeping sickness so here the ringworm is caused by fungi which is, which includes dermatophytes in dermatophytes we have trichophyton microsporum and epidermophyton so in this option the answer will be trichophyton